Um, what about you? We've talked to Sarah about this before. I feel bad because I know Sarah so well that then other porn girls come in and I end up just asking them mad questions. Like, Sarah, I'll talk to you later. Um, (laughs) I'll text you. Yeah, well, but I've been with Sarah and seen what it's like for her around people. What is it, what is it like in terms of people, men coming up to you on the street? You are very identifiable. Um, it can be awkward. Um, it could be, it depends on how people approach you. Uh, I think a lot of people won't, they'll give me the look more so than like, is it okay to come over? Like, you know exactly when they look at you and they're like, the, like the double takes or the like, you know, wanting to walk over and then they kind of hold back yeah. or whatever. I, I, I definitely get it. I, I get it. And I know what you're talking about with Sarah because I've gone with her places <laughs> also and people flip the fuck out. You know what I mean? So it's all, it's kind of weird. I'm sure you I, guys get it as well, yeah, don't I just, you? Yeah, well, I just I did this whole YouTube skit on um, porn star fan etiquette. <laughs> oh really? It's hilarious. What is your YouTube channel, Sarah J? Um, it's Sarah J TV. Sarah J TV. What's the, yeah. what's the etiquette? Um, well, you know, we go over a lot of things, like the the different situations that we come in contact with, like the the guy who's just creepy and just keeps on staring at you and inching closer, mm. and then the guy who like completely blows up your spot, like, oh my god, it's you, it's Gianna yeah. Michael. Shut the fuck up. And That's you're like, not my real name. <laughs> yeah, and you know, um, but there's like a lot of different situations we come in contact with. You know, like I get guys who like like just think they can just touch me. You know, they're just like, oh my yeah. god, <laughs> right. everywhere. Really? Yeah, like you know. You want me to? Yeah. F- would you want me to fuck someone up for you? No, no. You know good. I got your back. It's good. I, I get kicks out of it. It makes me giggle. <laughs> so, but dudes just think because they see you on all these movies, where they could just touch up on you. Well, you know, I think that um, they have a lot more of a personal relationship with me than I do with them. Like I've never met them before. Well said. Right. You know, but Very well said. but yeah. you're with them during their most intimate moments. Oh they they've met me, me during their most intimate Thank moments. But I have no idea who they are, so they think that we're like you know. Yeah, we had. We've had that's, that part are. is we've similar. Had sex. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that part is it. that is part of that's, that's yeah. the thing we deal with because right. people, people we're feel so close. personal right. on the radio. Because you're in a car alone, right? Right. And it's the same when I listen to the radio. You're in the car alone. Maybe it's your drive every morning to work. You drink your coffee, smoke your cigarette, do whatever you do, and listen to your radio. Yeah. Show. It's a part of your day. And for jerking off, right? So that's yeah. even more a personal part of your day. Like I'm gonna be honest with you guys both. It's there's a good chance I've no. Gianna hands down. <laughs> I say this all due respect. Gianna hands down is the name I've searched more for. In the history of my porn life, Sarah, I had to slow down a little bit because once I got to know her too much, started to get weird. A little, a little weird. I didn't like. So I was like, "Oh, come on! Who is this guy? He's disgusting!" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like these guys are fucking gross, man. <laughs> um, but that is an intimate moment. Like, let's be honest, guys. The moment that you finish sexually, that moment is. There's very few people in the world that you'll ever spend that time with and that right. you want to spend that time with. Yeah. I spent that time with you. We've been together. <laughs> no, don't get me wrong. Re- is this the first time you're meeting her? Gianna, yes. <laughs> Are you excited? Is this awkward for you? No. Not at all. Not Why? At all. Is it because it's an interview and there's a table between you? or? Yeah, if I said all these things in your face at like a random conference, would you have felt weird? No. But that's what we do. I mean, that's... Uh, that's you, you get it. You, yeah. I mean, we understand that that's where you're coming from. So I don't like the way you're making me seem in this. We just hope that you have good breath when you do it. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> like, what's the craziest thing that a fan has done at one of these conferences? I'm sure someone comes up to you, bugs out. I don't know, something really creepy, or I'm sure somebody has done something crazy. Wild groping hands is always like that's a constant. That's always like, whoa, where did that come from? Yeah, like I didn't really expect you to stick your fingers in no one's my ever, butt like, cheeks. Yeah. Mailed before. you something or. Stalkerish or oh, like yeah, but as far as like the conferences go, just probably like groping hands. But I don't know. I I've actually had fans like literally jump on me in public, like literally like jump on my like back. start humping, like <laughs> like like bear hug, like oh my god, like grab See, me that's up. Weird. Yeah, wow. it's a little strange. But isn't that part right? little? It is a lot strange. But yeah. isn't that part <laughs> even weirder because I'd be more likely to do that with like. Anyone else who wasn't in the porn business, like a football, yeah, like a man, football player, I love. Like wrestler. I'd want to seem cool to you guys. Like right. wouldn't a guy want to come and be like, "I like okay. your work." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, that's awesome. I, I, personally, I would try to pretend I didn't even know who you were. Yeah. You know, try to kick some game or do something. Those but like, ones are funny. That, yeah, so you no, get you get those too. I just, I just picked up a guy like in Barcelona like that. Yeah, I was walking down the street and he, I realized he was following me. And so like I come back out of the store and he's like, "Hello." I was like, "Hello." He goes. 
so I just noticed you and I thought that you were attractive and I'm like I'm bundled up like this in Berlin I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, like oh, am I really attractive <laughs> oh me <laughs> you know so like obviously I know that he knows and yeah didn't even bring it up the whole time he was definitely gonna get laid in Ghana he didn't <laughs> no he didn't we couldn't make their schedules work. oh damn <laughs> Gianna in the words of Ghostface Killer do you fuck fans yes I, God, she gives hope to everyone. You know, if I think they're attractive all, and plus, I'm attracted to them. I mean, I, I, I don't. How many years have you been doing this? A long time. Five, four, four, five, four, five, something. Okay, I've been. Oh, doing four, it. oh, five, or four, <laughs> or five. Right, somewhere Since, in between. We, there. Okay, I've, I've been, I've been doing it almost thirteen years, and I feel like at this point, if we are engaged in like a friendly sexual conversation, and we might end up doing it, you probably already see my work. Like, it'd be kind of odd if you didn't. Like, there's been very, very few people, I think, that I've had sex with that haven't seen my work. Are oh. any of you guys involved in a relationship? Um, you know, I got a lot of relationships with a lot of different people. But well, not what, exclusive. it depends on what town you're in. No, yeah, right? No. Um, yeah, no, what it's country, not, not exclusive. But, like, everybody, I never lie to anybody, and everybody's on the up and up. Everybody knows what's up and where their place is in my life. Gianna, are you? No, I'm not. Yeah, I, that's what I that's I heard that at the time, whatever, three years ago when Sophie D was here, she said you weren't in a relationship. What do you need to get set up? No. Are you sure? No, I'm sure. Oh, you can I'm, have you can I'm have sure. a couple of mine. I can let I can borrow I'm, them. No, that's okay. <laughs> do you have lots of people like you know, that too? It, it's really weird. Like, um, in being in the adult industry and everything to that effect, I. I enjoy fucking and everything to that effect. I enjoy putting on the scene. I enjoy doing the videos and everything like that. But when it comes to the outside, like or not being on film or whatever, like real life, like you got to make my pussy throb before I'm going to give you like anything, mm -hmm. like anything. You, mean, you just have like, to have not, the not attraction. It. Like, you don't want someone to punch it. You want like the feeling. No, I want it to. You she don't have one, so you don't understand it. You don't have one, so you don't understand it. You just got to get that. You got to get that. This. It takes a little bit more for you to be attracted to somebody. Yeah. Well. Uh, Yes, like well, sexually, sexually you're attractive. Probably just numb because it's sex, and then you have to kind of separate that, right? Well, no, um, you're talking about like with work and stuff. With like that? being in a relationship, oh, because in there a relationship? is the sex and the mind combined, as opposed to just doing a job. You don't have to you have know what? lunch you with that person. You connect with people that are within the industry as well. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, I'm able Definitely. to have conversations. I've met some of the coolest fucking people ever, and they've, they've, um, they've fucked me, like, mentally and physically, and, like, it just took you to so many different levels. And it, it's not so much just that, but it's, like, I want all that in real life, too. You know what I mean? I don't want just, like, dudes are fucking lame, man. They're lame. Uh, all they want to do is, like, I... No offense. No, but go, like, go. Some of the hit on shit you get, it's bullshit. It's like blah, blah, blah. All I hear is blah, 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 blah. You want to fuck. Okay, I'm not really attracted to you and you're not like stimulating my mind and anything like that. And so it just kind of, or like you give, or like you'll fuck and then you're just not interested anymore. You're like, oh, that was okay. You have to fuck guys also though who are super intimidated during it. Like when you do hook someone up who knows who they are yeah, and they get the chances. chance that you're like, I mean, come on, I have to admit, like, I'd go in and f it'd fail. It'd be I walk in, <laughs> fail. Really? I would need a second but chance. That's not even <laughs> Shut up, K. Fox. That's not even with porn stars. That's like in real in life. general. Like, yeah. In general. You, you got, but no, I'm in particular with porn stars. If I meet a random hot chick who I don't know, I might think like, oh, I can show her something. But it's hard. In the case of Gianna, I know for a fact. There's nothing I could teach her about the game. It doesn't have anything to do, do with teaching. teaching. I don't want to be taught. You know what I mean? I want to have a good I time. Like. Exactly. I just want to have some fun. It has to connect. True. It has to feel good. It has to just yep. blow your mind. You mean so like yes, I have a... I mean, I have a lot of good sex, too, even when I don't have orgasms, just because I had, I had fun. Yeah, like, that was a good time. Like, that was mm -hmm. that was fun. I enjoyed it. Men appreciate a good woman who can have a good time without having an orgasm. Don't lie yes, to them, they do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? I got to the point in my relationship where I started feeling I really don't like completing sex unless it's complete for my wife. Good because I feel very... I feel like a fucking loser. I gotta be honest, I feel like a loser. I, and it makes me end up not feeling satisfied if she'll be like, no, I, it's, it's just for you. I'm like, no, I, I don't want your fucking pity sex. You know what, though? <laughs> you, you, know, you were going to enjoy this. You know what, this. though? Speaking, speaking yeah, right. for women, like, sometimes we got other things that are, like, 
keeping us from having an orgasm has nothing to do with you. And if we can recognize that like right away and be like, you know what, let's just have fun. I, I might not get off today, but it's cool. Let's 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 do you and let's do you the best we can. Like No, that's true. And yeah. sometimes women get very turned on by the idea of turning a guy on and Definitely. doing it for him. And then like they'll like enjoy being turned on all day. Stop nodding yeah. your head, K Fox. Like I don't even yeah. want you to agree with the what? words that are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> listening. You are not a woman to me. You are K Fox. All right. <laughs> You stay in that little box. She doesn't have sex? She does not have sex. <laughs> oh. I mean, she don't let us know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a, even, I already think of Kay Fox in a, a sister way, but she makes it even easier to put her in that box when you don't know anything about what happens in her life, right? So I have other friends like that, but over time, you hear about the shit that they do, and then before you know it, you're making jokes about it. With Kay Fox, she's a mystery. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't tell us the truth at all about anything. Mm -hmm. Doesn't tell us... Smart woman. About... Smart Her woman, lo yeah. love life, anything. Not even share. Doesn't share shit with us. Only things we find out, and then she has to like Backtrack. release some information. Yeah. Or make. <laughs> I know much more about Gianna and Sarah J. I know what their vaginas look. I was gonna say you know what the well, inside of me. You need to know that like. much information about yeah. me. That I wouldn't want to know. <laughs> I just want to know like who's your boyfriend? What does he do for a living? These are things your guy friends want to know about you to make sure you're well taken care of. You saw how I worried about Gianna when I thought she was getting manhandled in one of those um, over-the-top leathery porn videos. All the dominatrix <laughs> type thing. It was not nice. It was too much. <clears throat> too I much. wasn't comfortable with it. It was too far. Although there's one. I saw this. This is one. What's that website? They're those guys. Um, and that's like their thing is like the OD. I think you did one too. I think, that's, I, think I saw you do that, Gianna. You Tell me not. what it is. The dudes who are like overly mean to chicks, yeah. like put shit in your mouths and oh, I know who you're talking like, about. Like it's like a team of four up. guys. Um, the only thing they were putting in my mouth was their cock. Hi oh <laughs> no. I, I know what you're talking about. It's like porn star. It's like punishment. It's like yeah, it's like punishment it's degrading. porn. I don't like the degrading stuff. You're not I don't those. like it. I don't like that. And I I don't believe. Not nothing to my recollection that uh, somebody has shoved anything other yeah, than anything in your mouth, in my except mouth. for a penis. In your yeah. Mouth. What is the most guys you've done? Dildos. Gianna, how many guys? Are, what's your largest game bang? You know what? I've done four guys for this one scene, but it wasn't like they did me. It was like I did them. It it's was I was very much so in control of it. So it didn't. It wasn't. I kind of would have wished that they would have been more like aggressive, like you know. One Why everywhere weren't? or whatever. I don't know. Mm. I mean, is it isn't it like a? They were lame. Isn't it like a director there to tell them what to there do? There is. Like? I think that that. I don't know. It wasn't supposed to be that kind of film. I don't think that it, the intention was to have it go in that direction, but um, that's kind of how it ended up. Sometimes the chemistry changes things, you know. Really? Like, yeah, the director might have an idea and a you know direction, obviously for a scene, but the chemistry between the people just changes it. Like, the maybe the guy can't be as dominant as he needs to be in order to be do to dominate you or whatever. You, you can't know? tell me what the fuck to do. But you, you know, you, what, I mean? you know like, what I'm saying? Like, sometimes the chemistry doesn't fit in the script. It just doesn't work. Yeah, it didn't work really? that way with their personalities. So well, it kind of was just like we had fun. We had fun. Gave them all a little bit, you know, and fucking whatever. But it wasn't. Exactly that. I don't think mm -hmm. it was the way the director intended it to be, but mm -hmm. it, it was fun. Now, there's something. I don't know if this is a terminology mm. when you're having sex on camera. Where is this going to go? And there's like a I certain angle that the camera has, and there's two penises and one female, and there's one <laughs> penis in one hole and another penis in another. Have you guys ever done that? Is that called uh, something? Uh, yes, I've done it's like if it's if it, they're both if they're both in um, the pussy, they're double vag. If they're both in the ass, they're double anal. And the best if, is a combo <clears throat> DVDA. <laughs> Classic. Have any and of you guys done that? There, I don't think there's a word if it one's in the mouth and one's in the pussy though. But if you got one in the ass and one in the pussy, then it's double you know double penetration. DP. DP How do you yeah. mentally prepare for that? Like is is that I don't even know. pleasurable? I've never done it. I do double I do double vag, but I don't do any of the other ones. Yeah. Excuse me. What do you think of Sarah J? She does double vag. Yeah. She doesn't do double DVD. Vag. No, now, just double what's vag. that like? Is that pleasurable? Um, you know what? For me, it's more mentally pleasurable than anything. Like I totally Explain. like I get excited about just thinking about. It. I'm like, let's do that. Can we do that today? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so like, what do you do after the show? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, you no. know, it's it's exciting any to me. Any other double anything? Especially right? sharing the same <laughs> thing. It works. It's like they're. Touching. Oh no, they're touching. They're First of all, I get excited other. because it doesn't happen every day. Like how how many girls get to say that they've had two penises inside one hole at the same time? Like okay. that's kind of exciting. Only really to me. lucky girls. Right. That's kind of the way I feel about it. Like really, really lucky girls. And then the fact that these two guys <laughs> are touching inside my vagina. They're willing to be gay. They're they want to fuck you so much. Thank you. That's exactly. This is 
guys want to fuck exactly so bad, thinking. they'll rub so cocks really, with another guy. It's really my mental mm. is like really stimulated during it, and then it kind of makes my pussy wet, and it's a very exciting time. It's like okay, Christmas. other than mentally, physically, is you feel very full. It's kind of inca- incapacitating. You gotta just hold still. Okay, because like I haven't had a kid, so I'm not like huge. Mm. You know, like I haven't been stretched out like that far before. Mm. So I just gotta hold still and wait for it. Yeah, think, wait, time. right, totally just like, th- think of a happy place. Yeah, think, lube it up and just think happy thoughts. And once it gets in there and gets going, it's pretty decent, but you just got to hold still. Yeah. <laughs> Gianna, You're very do you, full. Do you do Ooh. anal? You know, I have done one film. Just one? Just I one. hope you got a hefty <clears throat> check for that one. Who, who is who is the anal with? Um, Michael Stefano. Oh, okay. Oh, the great okay. Michael Stefano. Yeah, yeah. Love his yeah, work. He My, he is, I like his early work. No, his well, work let's be honest, right. his He's, later stuff is not the same. Really? I'm joking. No, I'm um, neither of us, we don't know who he is. We're just making fun. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We're just being assholes. But why Asshole. only one? I thought the point is you keep that ass on lock. Have you ever got fucked in your ass? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off the camera. Pause the cameras. I'm going to go with no on that one. Yeah, I'm going to go with no, no also. No, I have not. <laughs> so you didn't like it. It's You know, I thought I wasn't going to like it before I did it on film. I only did it one time before in my personal life. And I, I, I really enjoyed it more than I thought I was going to with him. He's such a passionate lover that it was uh, very enjoyable. But it, I, I don't prefer it. I'm going to be honest. That's fine. What happened afterwards? Did you Because ha- you haven't done it very much. Like, w- there's a repercussion to... Ugh, this is... Your is butt this does things yeah, wh- in the time after this is you do those things. I might leave... You don't want to hear that what part? What are you talking about? I just heard that the next hour or so can be a messy situation. Did you wear a diaper when you were done? No, I didn't. I know. Uh-huh. I've heard stories of what you're talking about right now, though. I think you're talking more so of the girls that have done a thousands lot. of... Um, imagine getting fucked in your ass a thousand times. Hold on. Take it from once. I know. I'll stop let doing me, that, Let me too. go to a thousand. <laughs> Wow. Imagine, I am gay. Or better yet. Or better <laughs> I yet. am real gay right Imagine now. if an asshole was as loose as a pussy. Looser. Then, yeah, or looser than a pussy. Yeah, that might be a difficult situation to hold crap in. Touche. If you could hold a full-size softball this in it, combo. you can't hold. A turd. A, thank you.